Jane Ray. She was voted most likely to flunk out of high school. Together, they're the class of 1986. Here's Howard Levinson. He was on the baseball team. And this is David Gannett. He was on the track team. Together, they're the class of 1971. Today, these two generations will face off to see who knows more about the music that rocks their world. Welcome to VH1's Rock and Roll Showdown. I'm talking about my generation. And now, here's your host, Fred Shoemaker. My generation today, the class of 1971, takes on the class of 1986 for a chance to win some incredible rock and roll prizes. Let's get right into round one, our singles round. Take a look at our singles board with questions from both generations. We've got end of the line, feelings, give me three steps, surf in USA, and black magic woman. You'll select a category in your generation or your opponent's generation. We'll play the A side. Either team can answer. You get an A side right, we'll give you 50 points. Your teammate can play the B side for 100 points or choose another single. You miss a question, the other team has a chance to steal. And remember, each time you choose and correctly answer an A side from the other generation, you're gonna get an awesome prize. Class of 71, you won our coin toss. Let's pick a single. Craig, how about give me three steps in my generation? Give me three steps in 1971. I'm gonna name three albums, all by the same act. You're gonna buzz in and name the act. A side is open, everyone. Hands on buzzers, here we go. In Through the Outdoor, Coda, Physical Graffiti. Jane. Led Zeppelin. It is Led Zeppelin, absolutely right. Off to a good start with 50 points, Jane. Emily, would you like the B-side or move to another single? I will take the B-side. Go on with the B-side. Odds and Sods, Live at Leeds, Meaty, Beady, Big and Bouncy. Looking for the act. Oh, chance to steal or move on, 71. I think you know it. The Who. All right, yeah, you got it, The Who. I knew you knew that you had foam coming out of your mouth on that one. All right. Okay, Howard, you have control. Let's pick okay, a category. let's do Surf in USA in my generation. Surf in USA in 1971. Take a look at this internet address and tell us whose musical website it might be. A-side is open to everyone. Ziggystardust.com. Emily? David Bowie. It is David Bowie. 50 points for you. Jane, would you like the B-side or move on? I'll take the B-side. Going with the B-side. Whose musical website might this be? Oyecomova.com. Santana. It is Santana. Absolutely right. A-side, B-side right. You want a bonus for 200? Going with the bonus. All right. Whose website might this be? Ain'tnosunshine.com. Bill Withers. Bill Withers. All right. You got it. Swept right through that category. 200 points. You got a bonus. And where do we go next, class of 86? We'll take end of the line for my generation. End of the line, my generation. All right. We're going to give you the beginning of a well-known song lyric. You're going to buzz in and finish it. The A-side's open to everyone. Finish the line to this Wang Chung song. Everybody have fun tonight. Jane? Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Indeed, you're correct. Wang Chung tonight. Everybody have fun tonight. Wang Chung, where the heck are they? <laughs> All right, Emily, would you like the B-side or move on to another category? I'll take the B-side. All right, go on with the B-side. Finish the line to this Bon Jovi song. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. You give love a bad name. Absolutely right, you got it. You give love a bad name by Bon Jovi. Oh, you got the A-side right, the B-side right. Would you like a bonus? Yes, we would. Finish the line to this Eddie Money and Ronnie Spector song. Just like Ronnie sang. Be My Little Baby. Be My Little Baby is right. Take me home tonight. Eddie Money, Ronnie Spector. That was good for another 200 points. All right, where do we go next? Give me three steps in my generation. Give me three steps in 1986. Buzz in when you can name the act who did these albums. A-side is open to everyone. Waking Up the Neighbors, Cuts Like a Knife, Reckless. Emily? Brian Adams. It is Brian Adams. You got it. 50 points. Jane, would you like the B-side or move on? I'll take the B-side. Go on with the B-side. Okay, who did these albums? Fascination, Hysteria, Crash. Ooh. Def Leppard? No, not Def Leppard. Chance to steal or move on, 71. Do you know it? 
uh, Human League? It is Human League. Good steal. Good steal, Howard. All right. 71, you have control. Let's pick a single. Okay, let's do uh, Surfing USA in their generation. Surfing USA in their generation. You know, for crossing generations, you get this A-side right, you're going to get an extra little prize, class of 71. Whose musical website might this be? A-side is open to everyone. Maneater.com. Howard? Hall of Notes? Hall of Notes is right! <laughs> and you know what else? You get an extra little prize for crossing generations. Let's see what that is. I'm so excited. All right. You got dinner for two at any Planet Hollywood throughout the United States. There you go. That's for both of you, by the way. You don't have to go with each other. All right. Okay. All right, you got the A-side. David, would you like the B-side or move to another category? I'll take the B-side. Go on with the B-side. Whose website might this be? Whosjohnny.com? Whosjohnny.com? Time's up. Chance to steal or move on, 86. Do you know it? DeBarge. Yes, it is. Absolutely right. Oh, DeBarge. Good steal. They're hugging on that steal. All right. Where do we go next, class of 86? Let's pick a single. Okay. Black Magic Woman in my generation. Black Magic Woman in 86. Our in-house psychic, Madame Babushka, reads fortunes. Today, she'll read the fortunes of 80s rock stars. Madame Babushka, come on out here. Hello, sweetie. Hello, my darling. Good to see you floating around here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, you're going to be reading fortunes today, Ooh. and you're going to listen for the song title clues and tell us whose fortune she's reading. A side is open to everyone. Your psycho killer girlfriend is better off putting her wild wildlife behind her, and she was using this once in a lifetime opportunity for burning down the house. Guess you're on a road to nowhere. David. Talking Heads? It is Talking Heads. No pun intended with a talking head over here. <laughs> we didn't plan it that way. But Howard, would you like the B-side or move on? Take the B-side. Go on with the B-side. The red skies indicate you were born in a sign of fire. So one thing leads to another and you're saved by zero. Will you stand or fall? Who knows? But you must ask, are we ourselves? The fix? It is the fix, Howard. Very good. You got the A side right, the B side. Would you like a bonus or move on? We'd like the bonus. Give him a bonus, Madame Babushka. Listen, no one is to blame. Things can only get better, and soon you'll have everlasting love. The question is, will you still be there? Class of 71, do you know it? Need an answer. Um... Ooh, time's up. Chance to steal or move on, 86. We got it. It's Howard Jones. It is Howard Jones. You got it. All right, we have to say goodbye to Madame Babushka. Bye-bye, Madame Babushka. Go back to your, your dressing room. She doesn't have a dressing room. We just put her in a hat box. And that sound means the end of round one. We have a score of 900 points for the class of 86. Just behind with 300. Class of 71, you're going to have a chance to catch up in our CD round. And that's what's coming up next. Don't go changing. I've got a name in 1971. We'll name a band, and you're going to tell us the inspiration for their name. Track one is open to everyone. The Alan Parsons Project takes its name from A, a secret operation to shave Castro's beard. B, producer and composer Alan Parsons. C, the scientific process that turns potatoes into latex. David? B would be correct. B is correct. Absolutely right. Composer Alan Parsons. All right, Howard, you got track one. Would you like track two? Yes, absolutely. Uh, going for track two. The band Steppenwolf takes its name from A, a tribute to lead singer John Kay's stepfather, Steve Wolf. B, a Depression-era troupe of tap-dancing dogs. Or C, a Herman Hess novel. C. It is C, a Herman Hess novel. Steppenwolf. You got track one and two right. Would you like a bonus for 400? Absolutely. Point values are doubled this round. The band Grand Funk Railroad takes its name from A, a nickname for smuggling musicians out of North Korea. B, a secret network of eight-track bootleggers. C, a Michigan train line named Grand Trunk Railroad. How about C? It is C, absolutely right. 
train line, Grand Trunk Railroad, you swept right through that category, you're in the lead now, and you have control, let's pick a category. One Trick Pony, my generation. One Trick Pony in 1971. Take a look at our video wall and identify this 70s one-hit wonder. Track one is open to everyone. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Jane? Lynn Anderson. It is Lynn Anderson, absolutely right. <laughs> Emily, would you like track two or move on to another category? I'll take track two. Go on with track two. Identify this 70s one-hit wonder. You know it? Oh, chance to steal or move on, 71. We'll move on. We're going to move on. That was Sammy Smith. Sim oh, how could we not remember Sammy Smith? Come on, class of 71. It's your control. Let's pick a category. Okay, let's try Every Picture Tells a Story in My Generation. Every Picture Tells a Story in 1971. We're going to show you some pictures from my little nephew, Kevin Shoemaker. He loves to draw, and they're going to add up to names of bands. I'll show you the artwork. You're going to name the band. Track one is open to everyone. Emily? The Doors? It is The Doors! Yeah.